Hello everybody, it's Cryptic Felix, and oh my goodness, it's Minecrafting time. This is going to be the start of my hopefully bi-monthly series of my 100 day challenge. This was so heavily inspired by Snifferish's recent video, so I'll pop theirs in the description so you can check that out. To make this a little bit more interesting, I've given myself a few rules. Firstly, that I have to build something every day. For the first 10 days, I'm exempt. Just because of material collection and wanting to find the absolute perfect place to settle down. Secondly, everything I build must be in vanilla, and the only other mod like things I'm allowed are texture packs and replay mod to fill. This just means that you guys can replicate any of the builds I have here easier. Third, I only have up to six lives, as well as a bonus life for every five builds. On the first day, I spawned at a cute little beach right next to a shipwreck. I regret not going into it more and not staying in that area and you'll see why later. I should also mention that something severely messed up my audio recording so we also can't enjoy my screams as I piss myself every 5 minutes. I did come across a cave with a mineshaft inside. Any other player would have taken a look but I was scared by a zombie sound. After I slept the next day it was time to explore for the perfect place to build. Day 2 was a lot of walking, though I did stop to gather some food and craft some items. I tried to mostly walk along the tops of trees when I travel because the render distance isn't too high. I did find this stunning cave. We're in 1.19.3 here which has the updated caves but what I didn't realise was a tree growing right in the middle of it. I travelled more, picked up some flowers, until I found a ruined portal. There wasn't much in there though apart from some gold armour. Getting to the top of that mountain meant nap time and so the start of day 3 began. I started off day 3 by crafting a boat, and setting out to find a village or a more interesting biome. I wanted where I built to inspire my actual buildings, and so I was desperately looking for somewhere that caught my eye. I came across a dark oak biome, which is my favourite, but it's pretty difficult to keep mob free since the light level is quite low. I tried to check how many days it had been, but was interrupted by this. I wish I'd captured audio because I scrumped an absolute scream there. P was running down my legs as I entered the fourth day. I ventured out more until I found a huge snowy mountain with a beautiful alcove in the middle. I tried to skirt around the outside and collect some more ore since I didn't want to fall through snow and freeze to death. I did hear a zombie gurgle which caused me to stupidly throw myself off of the cliff and lose so many hearts. I decided to plant myself down at these allium fields, and so day 4 was done. I desperately needed more food, so on day 5 I ventured out to try and grab some more. This place was beautiful, but for some reason nothing was spawning. I thought it was such a very good idea to jump into the water at this point. And here comes our first death of the series. I've got 5 more to go until I forfeit having to pay for an SMP for me and my mods. Hi, uh, editor's note here. Would you guys actually be interested in me and my mods doing some sort of like SMP thing? Um, it would mostly be a collection of like voiceover but replay mod instead rather than like POV first person footage. Um, I'd be happy to do that even if I don't need to forfeit from this challenge. I'm just trying to uh, get some new ideas for, for Minecraft videos. Alright, back to the video. <laughs> After rushing back to get my things and promptly running away from a drowned, I had a small amount of food to help me along. 
long term, I think farming will be a lot more sustainable up on this mountainside. I'm still undecided whether to build among all of these alliums or in the little alcove of the mountains. Please do let me know what you think in the comments. There was a skeleton in the water the day before that I wanted to blow up, but he seemed to have despawned by the time I woke up. Iron was the main issue, so I grabbed some of that and whacked it in the furnace. Food was also still an issue, so I went on a spree deleting every animal in the nearest area for food. You. Now, I definitely think that I want to build a bakery of sorts, since I do in every world I play in. Maybe something mossy, with foliage definitely, and play with blocks I don't get to in 1.16. A bit of replay mod to commemorate was in order, and the sleep to tide over to day 7. really patient with me and my uploads. I've been advancing and growing a lot, ready to come back to you all stronger than ever. <laughs> As always, subscribe and I'll see you soon! <laughs>